YouTube, what's going down? It's your boy Eisenier's Tactical. Back here with another video. Just got done watching the Steelers uh, squeak out another one. You know what I'm saying? Hope everybody's doing well, man. Good, good football Sunday. You know, see, I got my Steelers jacket on, man. Uh, before I get started, YouTube, I want you to know I'm in a safe control environment. <clears throat> All these firearms is going to be unloaded. Uh, no ammunition around, uh, safe control environment, no kids, no children. But yeah, man, I don't know when this video will come out, but when it's actually gonna come out, because YouTube be taking forever to turn that little that little dollar sign green. So nowadays I might as well I just wait because you know it ain't worth it because if a video does well, you know, you know, you can lose out a little bit of money. But uh I don't know, whatever it is. I think it comes down to like sixteen fifty, sixteen dollar fifty cents per thousand views something like that so sometimes it's kind of worth the wait for them to monetize it first but yeah man that was a crazy game i mean i don't know what y'all who y'all favorite teams is i'm down here in louisiana these boys are all who that nation and you got all kind of fans down in the south you got atl falcon fans cowboy fans texans fan but i'm a steeler fan i've been a steeler fan for life that's just the way it's gonna be that's just how it's gonna stay but uh i don't even get the word y'all would be so surprised how much uh paraphernalia i got like jackets and jerseys and stuff i just don't in san diego it's always so freaking hot that uh now you got them stupid ass charger fans they run around with wearing jerseys and shit on game day like 90 degrees outside i'm like man you looking like an idiot but hey to each his own so i don't even wear half of this stuff when i was in the bay area northern california i used to wear all my stuff because because the bay area gets a little bit more diverse weather it gets cold windy rain so it made sense but i don't even see myself wearing too much stuff these jackets and stuff, I don't catch myself wearing them until, you know, cold weather. And I like this jacket. This is a dope-ass jacket. This one, just let y'all know, this one is a, uh, this is unique in the sense that it's two sides to it. So, this has two sides to it. Let me get my mic so I don't lose audio. But, yeah, this has, uh, my, my, my wife got this for me, like, for Christmas a few a few years back. So, it's, it's the black side. You know, see, there's nothing back there, but you get the logo on the sleeve. And then this one, this sleeve, you don't have anything on it. But then when you reverse it, you get the cool. I mean, I got I got a couple of fists, and this is clean right here. So then you got this one. So you can wear it two ways. That's what I like about this jacket. You can wear it two ways. Depends on what you want, what you're wearing that day. You can fit yourself out pretty clean. So you got you got this side too. Let me show you how that looked. So that's how that looked on the other side. It's pretty clean. Dealer Nation, you know what I'm saying? So, pretty cool jacket. I like that. They surprised me with this on that Christmas. I was like, damn, I didn't even think I was going to get something like this. But yeah, Steelers looking good. Coach T got them playing hard. You know, we got the, the two quarterback system going. You know, Russell Wilson. I'm not really a big Russell Wilson fan. Uh, I'm from the Bay Area, so I grew up with, uh, you know, I pretty much watched Marshawn Lynch and Aaron Rodgers and Deshaun Jackson when they were all at Cal. You see Berkeley and, uh, so I know some I know some people that know Marshawn personally, and he can't stand Russell Wilson and Dana Bevel, Pete Carroll them up. They did him wrong. They did beast mode wrong, man. Like in the Super Bowl. So and it's, it's another story. I tell you another story behind. That. I got some facts on on like how that went down. Bottom line is this: that they wanted Russell Wilson to be the face of the organization, but the Legion of Boom, Richard Sherman and Earl Thomas and all them boys and. B Wag and all of them, they they were like the team is built on defense and running. But you know, so Beast Mode was the uh, unofficial captain of that of that Seahawk team, those Seahawk teams up there. And uh, but Russell Wilson, they wanted to make him the man. And then you know you know the rest of the history through that slant interception against New England, it's a wrap. And that's when they lost all respect for him. But anyway, yeah, man. So I'm just here to talk about uh, my uh, Glock 34. I thought it was uh, worth mentioning. Uh, it's a fantastic firearm. Hold oh, one second, real quick. One second. Yeah, it's a fantastic little firearm. I don't even really see a lot of. I mean, there's there's videos on 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 every firearm, really. I mean, I ain't gonna say I don't see them, but I don't be. I don't see a lot of people like talking about they have a Doc Thirty Four. But I tell you what, though, if you've never shot a Glock Thirty Four. And then you shoot one, you will be very, very pleased. Oh, yes, it's unloaded. These are snap caps, dummy rounds, YouTube. 
these are not real ammunition dummy rounds but yeah this is the glock 34 and uh yeah man it's a it's an awesome firearm uh you know i was i bought it really uh because i was going to get into competition shooting and i haven't really got a chance to get down into it get into it really but i thought like hey man but even in, even not in competition it's still it's still overall it's a great pistol and uh I eventually would get in the competition shooting, but I just didn't have time because now I'm not coaching no more. I got plenty of time, but it's a great, it's a great firearm. Got the cutout slide right there, full that long barrel, so your accuracy is pretty spot on with this thing right here. This is kind of a, it has a, a lot of upgrades that come in with this one, better trigger, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, you're super accurate. I did put some upgrades on the extended controls and chromed them out a little bit. And this is a Dawson Precision uh, Flare Magwell right there. I don't know if I can see that, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, this is this is a great this is a great firearm. Very accurate. I mean, pretty much where you point it, it it'll go. It'll, the bullet's gonna go there. Um, it, it ain't no complaints at all about this gun. And this is a full slide, so and you get the full grip. So you get a really nice purchase on this thing. And uh, yeah, this is just a great firearm. And I just bring it up because I don't really shoot that shoot that much, you know, since, especially since I moved, but because I was really shooting all my other guns a lot. But uh, I'm gonna start shooting this a little bit more just because of the fact that it's super accurate and it's fun to shoot. And uh, just kind of had it in the, in, the, in the safe, just kind of sitting around waiting to go get into competition. And that's why I bought all those mags. And, and I'm kind of mad now, because now I'm in Louisiana, these are, 10 round mags, Glock 17 mags, and I had bought all of them for the competition, bought four of these, and so now I gotta get four more full, because I want the max capacity, but no big deal. In competition, you can shoot 10 round mags, it's no big deal. But uh, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about the uh, Glock 34. I think it's one of the least talked about Glocks. You don't hear much about it, and it's not because it's not good. I think part of the reason why is a longer slide, so, it's not ideal for concealed carry, but I'm pretty sure that somebody is gonna chime in and say, oh, I carry my Glock 34. And uh, probably it'll be good like in, in a cold weather state when you're wearing jackets and hoodies, cause you can just put this in your holster, you know, wear it outside waistband, but still be covered. But it's a fantastic firearm, super accurate. I mean, it's got a great trigger. Oops, it's got a great trigger. YouTube, this is a dummy round. I just wanna let y'all see this trigger. This thing is a, uh, pretty good man like so you go let's get, get your take up right here so there's a take up there's the break and then here's the reset i mean it's a really nice trigger it's a really nice trick let me do that again so it goes to uh it goes now let me get Okay, so here goes the take up right here. Not much take up, not bad. Break. Then here goes the uh, reset. <laughs> yeah, so this, this is one of the better uh, Glock triggers that come stock that they make. And uh, so that's, that was part of the lure. Just... Just a really nice trigger. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. So yeah, man, Glock 34, and I did a couple things to it. I didn't do anything internally to it. I just put a tungsten guide rod in it, and, then, uh, and I put these uh, Warren Tactical fiber optic front, blackout rear, base plate, you know, magwell, and controls and talent grips that's pretty much it um it comes pretty much ready to go it's a really nice shooter though man and uh what i love what I also what i like about it is that you you know if even if you did if let's say you did carry this you'll be super confident pulling this thing out and getting getting on getting on target super quick because that long slide when you press out it's just like bam it's like right there and so when you squeeze that trigger the bullet's going right where you want it to go uh, it's not really that heavy either. I was when I first got it, I was tripping. I was like, "Damn, this is gonna be heavy," but it's not really that heavy. Uh, that's no ammo in it right now, but it's not heavy at all, man. 
but it's one of the least talked about Glocks that you, when you watch all the videos and stuff, you know, you know all the usual suspects, the Glock 19 and 19X, 43X, all those guns. And just don't really hear anybody talk about this. I did shave off the finger grooves right there. Cut that down so you don't get that Glock knuckle. I did that to pretty much all my Glocks. So not all of them, but most of them. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really mind the finger grooves, but it's just a little bit better for me. So I clearly don't have a problem because this is Gen 3, so. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about uh, Glock 34. Do you know anybody who has one or did you know, have you shot it before? Uh, or what's your competition pistol? Because this is kind of like when I do start competition shooting, this is gonna be the one I'm gonna use. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, yeah, man, Glock 34, just don't talk about it too much. And I promise you again, if you, if you went and shot this thing, you would wanna buy it. It's just that accurate. Uh, you can go to Hick Hickok 45. He raves about the Glock 34. He has a couple of videos on it. He said it's one of the best shooting pistols that Glock ever made. Like, and, and like I said, it's for obvious reasons because of that long slide. And then, you know, you got the cutout. So it just knocks down the recoil. There's no recoil with this at all. I mean, when you're shooting this, it's just like, tsh, tsh, tsh. you would think you're shooting a 22 when you shoot this. So I can't imagine if you suppress this, that thing would be way out there. But, uh, yeah, this is a pretty badass pistol right here. It's one of my favorite Glocks. I like all of them, but this is definitely one of my favorite Glocks. It's just a really nice pistol, man. Yeah, buddy, great trigger. Uh, fun to shoot, accurate. I mean, you feel you feel like a marksman when you're shooting this because you just, you, you, you can hit everything, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely a, it's a, it's a cheat code for accuracy. You get a Glock 34, even if you're not even an accurate shooter, you gonna be accurate with this for sure, man. But I just wanna just bring that up, man, like the Glock 34, uh, great pistol, um, good for multiple per, uh, applications, not just competition. This could be a duty, you know, this could be home defense if you want. The big brother of this is the Glock 35, 40 cal, and then they got the, uh, I want to say it's the 41, 45 ACP, 541. I'm not really too sure. I can, but let me see. Wait, is it Glock 41? Is the uh, 45 ACP version of this? Glock 35 is the 40 cal. Yeah, Glock 41. The Glock 41 is the uh, is the 45 ACP version of this one, and then and then the Glock 35 is the 40 cal. Now you can buy the Glock 35 and just buy a nine millimeter conversion barrel. Then you can have both in one, but you know, I just went for the Glock 34. Uh, I bought it advice of a couple of guys I was talking to, and they were just like, No, nah, man, just get the 34. So I'm glad I did get it. I ain't upset about it at all. It's a little, it's a little pricey though. This is one of the higher end Glocks, these uh, these long slide versions. They're not, they're a little bit more price point than higher price point than their uh, micro compact or sub compacts. But uh, yeah, man, I'm just gonna let you guys get out of here. I just want to bring that up. Uh, Glock 34. I was just cleaning my guns and and I said, "Hey, man, I ain't shot the Glock 34 in a minute." And uh, so I just thought, let me let me go ahead and do a video on the Glock 34, man. But uh, yeah, man, uh, pretty sweet pistol, man. Very accurate. Let me know what you guys got. What you got as far as like competition shooting or what's one of your yeah, maybe competition is one of your what's your most accurate. Pistol, I'm sure it's gonna be a nine millimeter, more than likely, uh, just because of the low recoil, you get better shots. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about the Glock 34. Steelers in the house, baby, we running it first first place. I just realized that was our first division game this year. Some teams already got three division games already played. That's crazy. But uh, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about my Glock 34. And uh, drop some comments about your uh, most accurate uh, pistol that you shoot. This is by far the most accurate pistol I have. Like, they're all accurate, but the one I shoot the best with is this one. Clearly, not even close. Uh, this is a fantastic pistol. And uh, yeah, I love it, man. So let me know what you guys think, man. At Glock 34, have you guys shot one before? Do you know anybody that has one? Uh, what's your thoughts on the Glock 34, man? It's a pretty cool little pistol, man. Hey, go Steelers. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay blessed, everybody.